Let's talk about the documents you need for a pre-qualification for a mortgage. Okay, so if you are an employee, work for W-2, what we're gonna need is the last 30 days of pay stubs, last two years W-2s, we're gonna need to see any and all assets that you're gonna bring to the table. So if you've got money in an IRA or a 401k or a bank account, we're gonna need to see all of that if you're using the funds, obviously within your loan process. Now, mind you, sometimes we'll get IRAs and 401ks and look at that money to use as assets or reserves, we don't necessarily need to pull the money out. So picture ID, of course. And then the most important thing is we need to pull your credit, right? There is no true pre-approval or pre-qualification or whatever some lender online tells you without seeing your credit, okay? You know, we could, we could do a soft poll and see one of your scores, but there's no guarantee that that's going to get you exactly where you want if there's a gray area. Now, with us in the wholesale channel, we can pull credit that's good for 90 days. So as you're looking to get pre-qualified, you know, or pre-approved, look at that. Now, some lenders will tell you, you have to go through a full underwritten process and they tout that that's like some better deal. I've had one loan out of fallout of underwriting in three years. So if you have a competent lender, they don't necessarily need to send it for pre-underwriting. If you're concerned about that, we certainly can do that. However, if we tell you you're good to go, you're good to go. So much so that we'll even guarantee it. So keep those things in mind. So again, income, assets, ID so we can verify you are who you say you are. And then obviously loan structure about what we're gonna to do to make that happen. It's really pretty simple. Now, if you're self-employed, we're gonna need the last two years tax returns. Um, if you've been in business more than two years, sometimes we can get away with one year. But again, that's up to the automated underwriting system. And again, we need credit for that. A soft poll will not allow us to run the automated underwriting system. So we've got a few tricky things we gotta to do to make that work. But if you've got questions, reach out to me. We wanna make sure we get you in the right parameters. We wanna get you the right loan type, whether it be FHA, VA if you're a veteran, USDA if you're rural, conventional, or maybe if you've got some quirky income, we need to go what's called a non-QM or a non-conforming loan. We can look at those as well. Do not hesitate to reach out. Look forward to hearing from you.